Hey crafty friends, this is Nai with All Things Were Created. Today we are going to go a little retro and we are going to assemble our layered roller skate paper craft. So as you can see, I have all of my pieces here. They are cut out and they are lined up and ready for gluing. I will be using my art glitter glue for all of my gluing. I also have some foam dots here. These are regular foam dots and then these are some micro dots. I haven't decided if I'm going to try and give a little bit of pop to the wheels. I know I'm definitely going to do them here with the stars, but I haven't completely decided. So <laughs> we'll figure it out together as we go along. Okay, so first things first, like I said, I've got everything here. It's laid out, it's all in the correct order, and I'm ready to start gluing. Before I started the video, I went ahead and I glued down all of the yellow laces to my blue layer. I only did that because these are smaller pieces. Um, I didn't want them to get lost on my table and it just would have taken a lot of time to just make sure that I had them in the right position. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna start at the back and kind of work my way up. So I'm going to take this top layer here and I'm gonna push it off to the side. And you know what? I'm actually going to do the wheels first. So I'm gonna put that one there and then I'm gonna start here with the wheels only because um, these are sitting on top of the gray layer and I don't want to lose these pieces again here on my table. So I also have my tweezers. I don't know if I said that. Um, to use to kind of help me with my placement. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hold this here. I've got my glue ready. And I'm going to start just adding a little bit of glue to the back of each layer. So as you noticed, I didn't even take anything apart here. I've really just left all of my pieces together. And so I'm just adding a little bit of glue and placing everything right on top. And there we go. And for this layer here, I'm actually gonna use my tweezers, so let me hold it there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda of come around here, adding it to the circle. And let me get a little bit more there. I need to switch my hands too. And you're just gonna to wanna to kind of eyeball where in the center you want it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you definitely don't want it to be too far off center. And remember, if you're using the art glitter glue like I am, it's gonna dry clear. So as you can see, I'm gonna have some glue seeping out there. That's okay. Um, and I think for this part here, I'm gonna make this one pop and I'm gonna add a foam dot to it. So I'm just gonna place that right in the center. I don't need to be too concerned about it, but it's just going to, again, just add a little bit of fun to the design there. So it's just gonna kind of pop up just a little bit and give um, the wheel just a really fun appearance. So again, I'm going to hold this one here in my hand. Let me make sure I've got it set just right, okay? I'm gonna add my glue, doesn't need to be a lot. And then I'm just using my fingers as well, it's just a tip for you. It just really helps with the glue and it puts everything in that immediate perfect position because my fingers are just going to line it up for me. So as you can see, that one's a little bit off. But what I'm doing here is I'm just using my fingers to shift it around. And you've got probably about five seconds when you're gluing to move things before the glue dries. So let me just go this way with this one. And so, again, I'm just adding a little bit of glue here. Try not to squeeze too much out so that way it doesn't seep through. And then again, I'm just kind of eyeballing the placement and then pressing it down. I've got a little bit more seeping there, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna add my foam dot again in the center. Let me peel off the top layer there. And then I'm gonna place this one. 
again, right on top and just kind of eyeballing it right in the center there. Okay, so that takes care of the wheels. So now we're ready for the back and we'll start to work our way up. So all of these layers here are pretty much bigger pieces. They'll be easy to layer right on top. Um, so let's start with this one here. I flipped it over, so I've got both of these. I've got two sheets here. Let me do it the other way so that way it doesn't confuse anyone. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and add some glue along the edges. Really just trying to come in really quick. And then I'm gonna get a little bit here in the center. And then for the letters, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in a little bit more and get really kind of in between where all of the letters are. And the reason why I want to do this is just to make sure that when I place it down, none of the letters accidentally get stuck on anything, like especially when I go to put it away, it doesn't get stuck on anything and cause it to rip. And so once again, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna use my fingers here. Which way do I wanna hold it there? And I'm gonna hold this one here at the wheel and I'm gonna use my fingers as my guide to get it all in the right spot. So you can see I've got it right here at this, these two spots. I'm gonna to start to press it down and that's really gonna help me line it up. And there we go. And so I'm just pressing it down to get that glue secured to the paper underneath. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here with this darker blue layer. So I think my glue is starting to run out. Look at this, there's a little piece of paper that got stuck. Ooh, it almost didn't cut correctly. Okay, and so same thing as I did with the light blue layer is I'm coming around with the letters there. I'm gonna come in around the letters, just kind of getting in between so nothing gets snagged. And just adding a little bit there. And then I'm gonna come in a little bit further on the smaller letters right here. Again, just making sure that nothing gets snagged when I go to put it away. Because I've had that happen before where I didn't really pay any attention to um, my letters. And then when I put it away, it got caught and it ripped. And then I just had to go back in and glue it again. Okay, so same thing as before. I'm going to, this one's a little bit more, not as easy to move because this part and the letters. I'm gonna grab it underneath here with this one and I'm gonna use that as my alignment right there. And I've got it in that position on this side as well and that's gonna make it perfect. And then I can just press everything down and it's good to go. So that was probably the hardest part because of the letters. It just really can be cumbersome sometimes. And so now with the next part of the actual roller skate, since that was kind of more of our background, plus with the roller skate, if you didn't wanna have the wording part, you don't have to cut these three layers. You could just cut the roller skate. So that's another option for you in case you wanted to do that. And so what I'm gonna do is same thing as before. I'm going to come in here, add a little bit of glue, and then I'm gonna place it down. And I'm going to use the same two sides to help me with my alignment here and then I'm pressing it down okay so I just thought this was a fun craft too for us to work on because my daughter she actually got roller skates um, for Christmas this past Christmas and so I just thought this would be fun for us to bring back some memories I remember when um, I was a teen going to the rink <laughs> to skate was something that we did on Saturdays. Like that was our Saturday night adventure. <laughs> we would all meet up at the roller skate rink and then we would skate for like two hours. <laughs> oh, nowadays 
I don't even know. We still have a roller skate rink around, but it's not the highlight that it once was. Times have changed, obviously. Okay, so the same thing here with this next layer. Um, I'm just kind of coming in. What do you also want to do now is because we're going to have parts of the laces here, you do just kind of want to make sure that you're adding a little bit of glue because this is another part that you don't want to get caught and snagged. And same thing as before. I'm using my fingers there to help me make sure that I've got it completely lined up. All right. So that takes care of most of the base. Oh, this part looks a little bit off. Just right there, but I think it's all right. Okay, so now we're ready for the top part. And you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick up this top pink layer and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue these down first. So I'm gonna take this heel part and I'm going to, again, use my fingers here, line it up, get it right along the edge, and then just press it down. And the same thing with the laces part. I'm adding a little bit of glue to the back of where the laces are, and then just really kind of coming along the edge. And then let me move my stars out of the way. And then I'm going to line it up right on top there and then press it down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to, and I'm going to add my stars. I'm going to use my micro dots for these because my stars are not really big. And again, you could have not added the stars, not cut the stars here. And if you wanted to, you could have used a pattern paper for um, the back of your roller skate. It's a personal preference. You know, have fun with <laughs> the pattern cardstock there. You know, you could really get creative. So I'm using the micro dots here because the stars are so small. And if you've ever used these, they can be quite cumbersome, but they really allow you to just add that 3D dimension look with smaller pieces. And so they always seem to have these little extra pieces that help to keep um, the dots here on the paper. Like you can probably see some of it right here. There's like, I don't know what you would call them, maybe like little puzzle pieces that kind of help to keep it there. It's probably so it doesn't rip off or something and drain storage and shipping. And, and just peeling off the top. Did I get that one? Nope. There we go. And I'm gonna use my push pen to just pick up the stars. And there we go. And press it down. Same thing with this one. And then the last one here. Okay. And so, whew, that's it. So now we're gonna come down to the wire with the rest of it here. I'm going to add glue now to the back layer, the black layer, <laughs> which is gonna kind of be more like the heel of my roller skate. Coming along with the laces again. And let me just move that down and drop to that. <laughs> And I'm going to line it up using the edge of my finger and then just pressing it down. And I'm gonna move this up just a little bit because there we go. Now the next layer is my white layer here. So I'm adding my glue again. And then coming in with the laces. And then pressing it down. Well, lining it up and then pressing it down. Alrighty. So we're almost there. Now this part's really just gonna be the heel. <laughs> and adding more glue along with the laces. And 
pressing that one down as well. And so remember what I said too, is that if you're gluing and you got it off just a little bit, you really have about five seconds to shift things around before the glue bonds and then you're stuck. So, well, you're not really stuck. I mean, I guess you could rip it off, but then that could be a whole can of worms that you might not want to get into. All right, so it's just adding a little bit of glue there. And got my heel. And then once more, just pressing it down. And so I've got my stars. You could even add the stars down here, like if you wanted to add some more, that would be fun. I'm just gonna add now the wheels. So I'm just gonna add my glue right in this spot here. Don't go too far onto the blade. And there we go. I'm just gonna press mine down. And then I'm going to do the rubber stopper of the roller skate. And then I'll use my finger to pick that one up. And there we go. So that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I hope it brings back some memories for you, just like it did for me. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Happy crafting.